Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to another awesome guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which I'm gonna teach you advanced artificial harmonics. Now, um, I know that I already have lessons on waterfall harmonics, on pinch harmonics, and all sorts of harmonics, but when I think advanced artificial harmonics, I actually think beyond the octave. Okay, beyond the octave, there are more artificial harmonics that you can produce. Okay, so if you haven't watched the previous videos, uh, this one might be too advanced for you, but I say watch it anyway because it's gonna expand your view on artificial harmonics. So um, when, you, when you play 12, okay, you get natural harmonics. When you put a finger on it and then play the harmonics, you get artificial harmonics. That's what it means. Um, that it's not an open string. So, um, by the way, if you would, okay, I, al I also have lessons on the sweep harmonic technique, okay? So if you'd like to learn that, it's available. Uh, now, you have, let's say, uh, a bar on two, okay? So, okay, you have the harmonics on 14, and you can play uh, the harp harmonics by, Okay, alternating between a harmonic on a bass string and a high string. Okay? That's the technique that everybody uses to create interesting sounds. But um, a handful of guitar players um, took it to another level. Um, and the best artificial harmonic player that I have ever heard uh, was Larry Coriel. Um, he used artificial harmonics on more than just the octave, okay? And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not talking about the, the second octave. I'm talking about um, frets five and seven, and also four, okay? You have natural harmonics on four, five, and seven. You also have one on nine, but this, the one on nine is the same as you have on four. So you can immediately deduce that you can do harmonics, artificial harmonics, on five and seven. Now, five is the second octave, it's the double octave. So if you'd like interesting harmonics, you do them on the seventh fret, okay? So if you do harmonics, if you, if you have a bar on two, let's say, and you have harmonics on 14, okay? Because that's 12 frets above it. You also have, okay? You also have the harmonics that are supposed to be on seven. Now you can do them here, but this takes practice. You need to work hard in, in order to, okay? In order to produce them above the sound hole. You need to feel where they are. This is something that no one can teach you. You need to learn how to feel it, but, there's an easier way, okay? Two plus seven equals nine. Okay, you can do it on nine as well. So you, you can do this, and you can do a, a waterfall harmonic, a harp harmonic on, on seven, okay? Seven frets above it. And then you can end on five above it, okay? Okay, that's what happens when you try to show off. So, okay, so you can do it here. But this is weak, okay? Five frets up is weak because you have no string tension here. So if you'd like to do the double octave, you have to do it here, okay? Above the sound hole. That's what, art, uh, what's ad, what advanced artificial harmonics means, okay? The ability to produce the artificial harmonics at will all over the neck, all over the neck. Now, for example, okay, let's take this, okay, this shape, okay? It's the open first string, and then it's two on the second string, one on the third, and four on the fourth. Now, this is a, a, a shape that,
that I learned from Larry Coriel's amazing, amazing arrangement of Something by the Beatles. It's one of the best figure style arrangements I have ever heard. And it's full of those harmonics that I'm talking about. So search Larry Coriel Something. There's a live version, which is just mind blowing. It's one of the best arrangements and performances of an arrangement that, that it's just gonna blow your mind. So, okay, 14 frets above it. Okay, so it's on 12, on 14, on 13, and then it's on 16. Now, you can also do it here. Okay, so if you have 12, you have seven, right? because it's an open string, okay? So you can, yeah, you can al already add something to it. Okay, now if it's on two, we said it's gonna be on nine. Okay, so, okay. Okay, you can already, add more. Now you can do, it because it's one, you have eight on the third. Okay, so okay. immediately you add more notes to the chord. These are notes that are not in the chord. Okay, so, so you can practice that okay, with different shapes, not just one bar. Okay, most of the um, harp harmonics uh, techniques happen over one bar, and you just add a note on the first string so you can pull it off. Okay. Now you can um, you can add more to it of course. Um, but this works really well. So you uh, th there's a reason why everybody uses it. But Okay, well, I, I don't understand why everybody neglects the other harmonic, the one on seven. Okay, it's it's so good. It's it's the fifth harmonic. Um, so you, you you can do it here. Okay, it's it's not that difficult to find because the frets keep getting narrow and narrow here. So basically, there's kind of like a seventy or eighty percent chance that you will get a harmonic anywhere you try above the sound hole. But if you want to produce uh, a specific harmonic, you're gonna work on it. But that's the beauty of harmonics, actually. Any harmonic that you get is fine. <laughs> yeah, you see? I tried on purpose and then um, I just uh, interfered, interfered and the, it got in the way of my own hand. So if I try without thinking, my hand is already used to this. If I try to, to force it, then it won't come out. So, okay. so you have the one on seven as well. Yeah, you see, you can get a lot more with artificial harmonics than usually, than what people usually play. It, it takes a lot of practice. I've been practicing this technique for, uh, I think, 20 years now. I think I've been practicing, I've been playing this technique for 20 years. That's why I'm so used to this. Uh, it doesn't happen overnight. But just the fact that you know that you can do this sometimes is enough because then you can kind of work your way towards this goal slowly and one day you just wake up and you're able to do this so i just wanted to open your mind to the uh to the possibility so thank you very much for watching and um i will see you in the next lesson subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh bye for now thanks for watching